Now to a former Virginia police officer accused of shooting and killing an unarmed man. Seen in this picture just moments before that fatal shot right there, standing in his doorway with his hands up. The former officer now facing an indictment this morning. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with that. Good morning, Gio. Good morning, Robin. The family of the man has been waiting for these charges for two years. And this morning, the officer who fired that deadly shot is behind bars. Take a good look at this photo. The man at his own doorway holding his hands up, unarmed. Just moments after this was taken, prosecutors say a Fairfax County police officer shot and killed the man. 46-year-old father of two, John Gear. Gear's friend watching from the street. His hands were resting on top of the door. It looked like he just got tired of holding his hands up there. He began to slide his hands slowly down the door. You could see his palms. And when his hands were at about face height, one of the officers shot him in the chest. The first words out of my mouth were, you just shot an unarmed man. This morning, two years later, a grand jury has indicted that former officer who pulled the trigger, Adam Torres, with second-degree murder. I can confirm to you that Mr. Torres was terminated from his employment with the Fairfax County Police Department. He violated our policies and procedures on the use of force. It was August 2013, and Gear's girlfriend called police about a domestic dispute. He's throwing everything out of the house of mine. And okay, who is he? I was my partner that I've lived with for the past 24 years. He's destroying my furniture. Telling officers there were weapons in the house. Police documents show Gear himself told officers during the standoff he was unarmed, but that a gun was inside the home. While police and Gear were negotiating, Officer Torres fired once, killing the unarmed Gear. I just don't think what had happened and transpired that kind of force was warranted. Gear's family has already reached a settlement with Fairfax County for nearly three million dollars. This morning, his father telling ABC News justice is prevailing. The judicial system is going through the process, but it is is beyond my comprehension why it took two years to get to this point. And ABC News reached out to the officer's legal team, but we've not heard back. Meanwhile, county officials say they've learned a lot since the shooting and now admit their legal process took way too long, George.